Welcome to this Resolum Arena and Avenue quick tip video, where I'll be giving you five tips for improving your Resolum workflow. Let's get started. Let's have a look at the file panel. First off, you should know that you can favor the folder by pressing the heart icon. I have done that here with my videos folder. When you click on the directory tab, you can add or remove the favorites folder as well as quickly navigate to your desktop, downloads and document folders. Note that you can have multiple favorite folders if that suits your workflow. When I open one of my video folders here, we can see all the files, but it would be nicer to see a thumbnail preview of the clips. Press the show preview button next to the favorites button to see thumbnails of your clips. Resolu makes it easy to map MIDI to different buttons and sliders, but did you know you can also map keyboard strokes just like MIDI buttons? To do this, navigate to the shortcut tab, select keyboard shortcuts, create a new preset in the shortcut tab, give it a name and you're ready to start mapping. Now simply click on a part of Resolume that you wish to control with your keyboard and hit the key once. Depending on the kind of parameter you have selected, you'll find some extra features to play with at the bottom of the panel. So go ahead and experiment. Resolume has a crossfader for all you old school VJs who used to VJ with Roland V4s and DVDs. To apply a layer to the A or B side of the crossfader, toggle either the A or B button underneath the layer controls. Now you can slide the crossfader left and right to crossfade between the A and B parts. Press the A or B button on the sides of the crossfader to make a quick cut. Right click on the crossfader to put it in its neutral position. You can press Ctrl, Shift and T to quickly update the thumbnail of your clip. Each effect in Resolume has an opacity slider of its own. Great for making effects more subtle, but there is great creative power in changing the blend modes of effects. Here I have applied the Bendoscope effect, set the opacity to 50 and the blend mode to add. Now the effect gets added to the original content instead of overwriting it. Here I have applied the Invert RGB effect. I've animated the opacity running from 0 to 100 and back by using the bounce play mode. I've used the rotate X blend mode to get a nice color flip going. This could be done with other color effects like tint, colorize and add subtract too. Here I've applied the blur effect, animating the opacity running from 99.5 to 100 with an envelope and BPM sync. The blend mode is set to shift RGB to create a chromatic aberration effect on each beat. These were just a few examples, but I encourage you to start experimenting with effect blend modes too. And that was it for now. Let me know in the comments if you learned anything new and we'll be back next week with a new tutorial.